In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can take still images like these and turn them into animated works of art that look something like this. Today we are talking about M Puppet by Motion VFX. If you haven't downloaded M Puppet already, I'm going to leave a link in the description box below. There is a free trial that you can try out. Pause the video, go ahead and download it. Come back here and let's jump into this tutorial together. Okay, so once you've got M Puppet downloaded, the very first thing you're going to want to do is pick an image that you want to animate. So I'm going to use this image that you saw in the intro to this video of this dancer, this ballerina. It's a pretty moody image. It's got a very simple background and I'm choosing this one specifically. You'll see why in a second. So once you have the image selected, there's a very important step and you wanna pay attention here because this is crucial to making this effect work. What we need to do is separate our subject from the background in this image. So essentially what we're gonna have is a PNG of our dancer and then we're gonna fill in the background so we have a very basic background to work with. Now, I like to use Photoshop when it comes to separating images. It's a lot faster than using the masking tool in Final Cut Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this into Photoshop real quick and separate it from the background. I'm going to make sure my layer is unlocked. Then I'm going to come up here to the Quick Selection tool, hit Select Subject, and it's going to do an okay job of selecting this subject, but I'm just going to make it a little bit better by tracing directly around our subject like this. Then I'm going to hit Select and Inverse and delete. And as you can see, we have our dancer as a PNG file. I'm gonna save that real quick by going to File, Export, Quick Export as PNG, give it a name, Dancer, Cool, Save. And then I'm gonna go back and fill in my background. So Content Aware Fill. And again, it does an okay job, not perfect. So I'm gonna select the Spot Healing Brush tool and I'm gonna really quickly just draw over all the parts that I wanna fix. So hopefully this does an okay job. And that's fine, we're gonna work with that. So file, save as a copy. I'm gonna call that BG for background, save to desktop. I'm gonna hit save, hit okay. And then once you have both of your images, we're gonna drop them into Final Cut Pro. So here in Final Cut Pro, I'm gonna select my background and hit the E key that's gonna drop it into my timeline. Next, we want to apply the M Puppet plugin to our timeline. This is a generator, so I'm gonna come up here to Titles, and underneath Titles, you're gonna see Generators. Click on Generators, and all the way down, M Puppet. Perfect, so right here, I'm gonna use the first one. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not gonna to touch on the motion blur setting. I'm just gonna use the standard M Puppet generator. So I'm gonna grab that and drop it down onto our timeline like so. Give it a second, it's gonna do the little beach ball, and it's gonna once you give it a second to load, we're just gonna follow the instructions on the screen. So right here, you can see that it says, put your image into M Puppet's drop zone. And if you look up here in our inspector tab, you're gonna see the drop zone arrow. So we're gonna click on that. And then we're gonna go into our library and find our dancer or our subject, which is here, and then hit apply clip. And as you can see, it's added this dancer to our timeline, but it's absolutely huge and we wanna make that smaller. So head up again to the inspector tab and you're gonna see scale and just drop that back until you're happy with how big the subject is. I'm just gonna move this up so she's on top of the trolley somewhere like that looks good. And hit done. Now, this is where the magic happens. If we hover over our dancer, you're gonna see that it, it lights up. M Puppet recognizes that this is a subject that we want to animate. And this is the fun part. This is where we get to add what's called handles to our subject. So if you can see down here, these four controls, I'm gonna go through each one of these real quick. This one here with the plus icon means we're adding a handle. And I like to add them to all the joints of the body so it gives the most kind of natural movement. I'm purposefully not going to put one on her foot just yet and you'll see why. So right next here to adding our handles is subtract and that does exactly what you would think. It takes away the handles that you've just added. So if I want to subtract the handle that's on her knee, handle six, I can just click on that and it'll disappear. So I'll go back to add make sure that's there. The next tool here is our marquee tool and that allows us to grab multiple handles at once which is super easy for making motions like this. And next to the marquee tool is the mesh tool and that just gives us kind of a grid of how this M Puppet is working. If you use Puppet Warp in Photoshop 
you will recognize this. Not something I use, I kind of find it distracting, honestly, so I leave that turned off most of the time. So as I said, I purposefully didn't put an anchor point or a handle on her foot. And the reason is, well, let me show you. If I was to grab the handle that's here on her waist, and I was to move that like I wanted to create some animation, her right foot is going all over the place. I don't want that to happen. I want that foot to be anchored in place. So what I'm gonna do is add a handle to her foot. And now if I do the same movement again, it's like an anchor point, if you will. If you want a limb to stay put, drop a handle on it. So now that we've added handles to our subject, we're gonna come over here to the inspector window again. You're gonna see this handles drop down menu. You're gonna click on that. And that's gonna show you all the points and where they are. So you can move these points manually here. Like you can see her head is moving as I move this up and down. And honestly, I would rather manually move these on the screen rather than type in or move around these numbers here in the inspector tab. I just find it's easier. Okay, so now we are ready to add some keyframes and animation to our subject. So make sure your playhead is at the very beginning. And then I'm gonna set all of these keyframes all the way down one by one. Next, I wanna grab my marquee tool and highlight these three handles right here. Then I'm gonna scroll halfway through my timeline and I'm gonna rotate this back like that. And then at the very end of this timeline clip, I'm gonna bring it back the other way. Let's have a look at this animation from the beginning. So it's really subtle and it's giving a kind of like super slow-mo effect, which I love really fun to play with, and you can get as creative as you want with this. So those are the very basic ingredients of how to add animation using mPuppet. There is a slider here called Depth, and I wanna show you in another example how that works. So here I have this cartoon image of my brother that I wanna add some animation to. So again, I'm gonna go up to my Generator tab, click on mPuppet and drag that down onto my timeline. Let it load for a second, let it do its thing. Same steps again, I'm gonna come up here to my drop zone and I'm gonna click on the cartoon image of my brother below and hit apply clip. And as you can see, I need to change the scale again. So I'm gonna scale that down to about there, looks good. Now I can disable the clip underneath because we don't wanna use that. We've already imported the cartoon clip into mPuppet. So let me show you real quick how that depth slider works. The first thing I gotta do is add some handles. So I'm gonna go handle on his face, on his chest, on his hip and on his feet, and then on his fist. So if I was to grab his hand and pull it towards his face, you're gonna see that the animation gets a little bit weird, like it doesn't really know what it's doing. It's kind of showing part of his ear underneath his hand and it just kind of looks messy. That's where the depth slider comes in. So if we hover over this handle point, you're gonna see that it says handle six. So I'm gonna come down here to handle six. Now watch what happens if I pull this slider down. His hand disappears behind his head like it's actually adding depth to the cartoon. So I don't want this to be behind his head. I actually want it to be in front of his face like it would be. So I'm gonna pull it up. And as you can see, his hand popped in front of his face. That is how the depth slider works. Really clever. Okay, so now that I'm here, I'm just gonna add a very quick animation to this cartoon. I wanna make my brother dance like he dances in real life. So if I just play around with these handles, you can see that it moves his body in a kind of comical way, like a cartoonish way. That's exactly what I want. Just this one handle here, handle three, is gonna make this effect work for me. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm at the very beginning of my playhead. And then on handle three, I'm gonna set a keyframe. I'm gonna move forward a couple of frames and just drag it out to the side. And then I'm gonna move a couple of frames ahead again. I'm gonna do that a couple of times. Okay, so now we can scroll back to playhead to the beginning of this clip and take a look. And that looks about as true to life as a cartoon can get. So guys, that is the M Puppet Generator in a nutshell. If you found this tutorial helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already, if you'd like to see more tutorials like this in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.